And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation. And here he is, Michael Savage. It is The Savage Nation. We're going to continue today where I left off on Friday, where we talked about the massacre in Newton, Connecticut, where I suggested that violent films and violent video games be curtailed, if not outlawed completely, for children under 18. Call of Duty, Postal, if you've ever seen any of these things, you know how these children's brains, these children's brains are being destroyed by the evil, evil industry of violent video games. You then have Quentin Tarantino, you have Harvey Weinstein, they need to be curtailed. We're going to talk about psychological medications, which should prohibit someone from owning a gun. We're going to talk about censoring the movies and the video games. We're going to talk about putting the Ten Commandments back in all the schools, where it says, thou shalt not kill can't hurt but we're going to begin tonight with an ancient prayer for the dead it's called the mourner's prayer it's an aramaic and i'm going to ask for a moment of reflection not only for the dead children and the dead women in newton connecticut but all of our lost relations i will translate this for you in a moment i want you to just remember the theme of this mourner's kaddish is the greatness of god there is no reference to death in this prayer listen what that prayer says is glorified and sanctified be God's great name throughout the world which has created. What this is about, it's about God. And what this says to people since times ancient is that we don't own ourselves. This is the fundamental religious law that most people living in the Hellenic world of America today could never understand, where the body is everything and there is no soul. And that's why the nation has no soul, because we live only for our looks and our body. But for thousands of years and for many millions of people, if not hundreds of millions of people, the world is seen in a different way. And... What people see in those other worlds is that when we die, we're taken back by the Creator. And the fact of the matter is our souls are objects given to us, given to us, and they are taken back. And that's all we have. 